good early Monday morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dewey Daily Events Worldwide. We are on October 27th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Looking here at a very active sunspot, which is incoming now. Very active, actually. With quite possibly a C-class flare. Small ejection there of some energy. That is the largest sunspot we've seen in quite a while. Most action we've seen are coronal holes. Speaking of which, we did have quite a solar wind speed intensify up to over 600 kilometers per second. Looking here at the polarities of the sunspot incoming, it is pretty big be keeping an eye on that the next few days looking here at our sun 304 angstroms able to see the plasma as well as shiny sunspot region so we'll be keeping an eye on that over the next few days as we did have an increase in solar wind speeds and they're still actually pretty high over 530 kilometers per second but they were jumping up to almost 700 kilometers per second, spiking over 750 kilometers. Temperature on the decline. This is the last seven days for our solar wind speed. Ever since we had that large coronal hole that was earth facing, and there was quite a bit of action going on in the sun at that time as well. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, we are lit up across the world with the, with the disasters right now. Especially here, Tropical Cyclone Akayar, who has quickly intensified to a Category 4 cyclone in the middle of the Indian Ocean and is going to just graze Oman, Definitely will be bringing some wind and rain to the coastlines. Also, Tropical Storm Pablo, who is heading towards Ireland. That's right, another one heading towards Ireland. That's, I think, four tropical storms this season the Atlantic has thrown at Europe. Very interesting times we are living in, folks. All I can say is that it is unfolding, just as I had predicted. Massive lines of intertropical convergence in the Atlantic Ocean, creating that huge spiral of moisture, stretching from Greenland all the way down to the equator. Looking here at the latest disasters, of course we have the fires in California that have sprung up across many counties in Los Angeles and San Diego. Looks like there are four states, or sorry, four counties that are under wildfire alert. And then just north of that, we've got a winter storm in Wyoming and wind warnings across Alberta as we had quite a system come through. Looking here over the last seven day imagery, Watch this large low pressure system come from the Rocky Mountains and cut right across Alberta as it brought 100 kilometer winds to Alberta from the south all the way to the north. There were some dangerous moments in Edmonton where a worker was hanging from a building, but there were reports of 110 kilometer winds in southern Alberta as that low pressure system came through very cold one at that because on the back side it brought cold nights minus five now and temperatures not getting any warmer over the next five day forecast also watching here there was a large tornado that touched down in alabama from the tropical depression that cut across mexico and into the gulf of mexico but just look at the size of these low pressure systems everybody all I can say is, I've been telling you for two years. 
It's coming. And we have to hold on. And we have to come together now. Looking here at the track. Tropical Cyclone Kayar. A Category 4 cyclone in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Heading towards Oman. Saudi Arabia. Now, over the past three years, there have been an increase in the number of tropical cyclones hitting rare areas like Saudi Arabia or Mediterranean hurricanes. Let's look at the last, what, uh, four days I haven't uploaded, but let's look at earthquakes here the last 48 hours. It has been very busy as we had the solar increased solar wind speeds or was expecting an uptick in seismicity. Largest earthquake being here in Alaska, the 5.8 in Yusaka. But look at all the action across Mediterranean, Indonesian plate line, South Asian, South Asian, and as well, Dominican Republic with a huge earthquake swarm. parts of Mexico as well, but our quiet zone still North American plate. Stay aware and prepared. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking North America, a very cold Canada and Alaska. As that low pressure system dips down all the way down to Mexico, bringing snow and definitely some freezing temperatures and then smashing with an area of interest that came out of the tropics again, which will be bringing a drenching superstorm like scenario again for the Northeastern United States, Atlantic provinces of Canada. Quite possibly some record amounts of snow coming to parts of Alaska and as well the Northwest territories Across the Pacific Ocean we go. No typhoons or tropical storms to talk about. Still, Southeast Asia, later in the week, there's an area of interest heading towards Thailand. It'll be an area of interest. And then of course, tropical cyclone Kayar. Showing here, for the next three days, we'll be spinning as a Category 4 hurricane. And then another one following right behind it. So, five-day forecast across the Northern Hemisphere. Things are changing drastically. Northern polar vortex is moving in. Just look at Russia and parts of Europe. Lots of early snows and very cold temperatures. That's without the wind chill, folks. And that's just the beginning. Next couple weeks, things will definitely be changing. Just look at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. And the low pressure systems are still persistent they're larger and they're more organized hence the 100 kilometer winds that we had across Alberta one large low pressure system over Europe southern hemisphere looks the same way we are on the verge of a grand solar minimum Please share this channel with your friends and family from around the world. We are not global warming, and that's not what this channel is about. And I'm not even a news channel. A lot of people proclaim me to be an alternative media source. Yes, because I do my own research, and I like to share it with my friends and family from around the world. So please, don't forget to hit that like button. If you've made it this far in this video, get in the comments section and say hi. Much love to you all. Having a look at 
tropical cyclone Kayar here. Have a good day. God bless humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.